Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, hi, welcome back, uh, everyone, uh, to this open phone video. Uh, let me check the mic. Okay, mic's good. Mic's working. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, so, welcome back. Um, we sort of last saw. Okay, let me... I mean, I forgot to add this to Git. Git status. All right. Um, let's see. Spell it amorous. Okay. I just want this file here. Okay, I, I, I want to add this to git add. Let's do git add and git commit. M snappy hex mesh with multiple obj. Okay, so git status. Okay, good. Uh, git push. So all this should be on Git now. All right, you should have done that in the last video, but anyway, it's done. So all the relevant details are here. <coughs> all right, all the relevant details are here um, in the experimental rents branch. Okay, but basically, uh, I kind of uh, put LES there as well, so it's kind of pointless. <laughs> Okay, anyway, so let's go to system. Uh, we want to just basically talk about uh, where we left off. We have a snappy X mesh, which ran perfectly well. Though maybe we don't want so many refinement regions. Uh, this is pretty fine. Um, yeah, we, we use FreeCAD to separate out the object files for us. That makes meshing a lot easier. Okay, so we don't have to work blindly with auto patch and figure out which angle to use. So that, that's very helpful. Okay, so maybe, uh, yeah, I'll, I want to change the refinement level to maybe two. I don't want so many uh, files. I don't want so many uh, too fine a mesh. I'll just do cost mesh so that it's faster. So let's do free cat style mesh gen. It will do a cleaning up. And basically, it's done very quickly. So let's do a F5. Yes, it's much coarser now. Now it uh, looks okay. Looks okay. Should compute a lot faster. Anyway, um, next thing I want to do, hopefully, and hopefully it works, is to add layers. So let's do add layers. Turn the add layer function on. All right. And this time, it, it should run very fast. Okay. And what are the, the layers I want to add? I want to add the layers to the wall. Now, the good thing about having these uh, multiple OBJ files is that, you know, if you add layers to one particular patch, it is, it is a lot easier. So let's do three surface layers on the wall and let's see what happens. Okay. So we'll do A, F5, and look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, we have three layers over there. So if you want to add more, um, yeah, this is exactly the mesh I want. So if you want to add more, that's fine. And uh, we can do five layers. We'll try to do 10 layers. Let me see whether that works. Okay. Let's do 10 layers, see whether it's added. Oh, great. It's added. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm very glad it's working very nicely. Okay, so you have this semblance of a pipe. Uh, flow. Of course, there are a lot of layers here, but that means uh, it will make the yeah, it will make the uh, thing a little more yeah. How do you say? It will make the file. I mean, it will make it calculate a little bit longer, but I mean that's okay, right? Um, and then of course we want to look at a slice plot. You know, see whether you know uh, in the middle. Or in the middle, the, the thing is correct. It looks correct. So let's do a internal mesh. Okay, we'll do an internal mesh and we'll do surface with edges. And that's what it looks like. Uh, though, though um, very funny thing is that uh, near the other side, near the other side here, the the patch isn't uh, so so nice, okay? But let's do a 90 degree turn. 
and we'll use this magnifying glass okay so over here apparently the layers didn't add as well but for the rest of uh, the thing it adds pretty well you can see that adding layers is pretty straightforward we roughly got the mesh that we want roughly okay so maybe I'll just do three layers and then okay snappy hex mesh dictionary okay I'm not gonna add 10 maybe I'll just add three okay at three and then we'll do the free cat mesh gen again and we'll just do okay we'll do it like so okay now I'm gonna pan I'm gonna zoom in okay okay look at the the layers should the layer addition is pretty consistent here as long as you don't add too many they, they should be okay I mean even at the even at the uh, boundaries they they seem to be working okay ish okay now of course if you want you can run a check mesh to see whether uh, any cells are very oddly shaped and it looks okay hmm. yeah it looks okay in general uh, I mean you have a little bit of uh, skewed meshes here and there but but uh, you would be able to see that uh, most most of the mesh is okay right most of the mesh is okay uh, except for you know you have uh, meshes and cells like these that are pretty a uh, little bit harder to deal with we can talk about other things I mean you can always look at look at this again if you want to improve it and oh dear okay let me close para view I think it's lagging okay usually that doesn't happen on Nux. maybe I'm like overloading it or something I don't know anyway you can quickly open it again oh it's under refined pep snappy foam that's why okay there you go refine pipe snappy foam okay so um, just two things we might want to improve here if you notice that on one side the the surface features aren't really um, doing as well over here Can you see um, over here the the surfaces are pretty clunky and over here as well but that's like for lower refinement Okay, we might want to correct that later on using a surface feature extract because we are using an internal like surface feature refinement kind of thing because that's the easy way but uh, of course we want to do it the more professional way um, okay snappy hex mesh surface feature surface feature extract okay so surface feature extract is nice to help you deal with uh, help you deal with all these sharp corners and edges so um, do take note uh, this this is uh, very helpful rather than using the internal uh, surface feature refinement uh, as you can see I, I can't remember where it is okay let's see here yes uh, implicit feature snap okay implicit feature snap that's what uh, we use to deal with this sharp corners so um, if uh, we're using internal in implicit feature snap uh, it's a easy setting to do snappy hex mesh will turn things on for us but uh, I mean it'll, it'll deal with this uh, sharp corners for us but may not may not always do well in all meshes the best is always to look for explicit feature snap but that's for another video Let, let's this video we want to talk more about uh, adding layers and see what the effects are okay and actually uh, this uh, explicit feature snap is probably why uh, you know the mesh at the two ends were kind of different just now uh, even though we use the same layering layering strategy okay let's let's do five okay so that you can see the effects okay so uh, first thing first uh, want to talk about some of the settings we can do uh, for uh, expansion this uh, expansion ratio 
final layer thickness etc etc so we want to play around with some of these um, some of these uh, what do you call that settings and see how it's going to affect the mesh here so that you understand what this add layer controls are doing okay but we'll just ignore the 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 crooked edges first we can deal with that later okay so let's do expansion ratio first let's go from 1 to 1.2 let's see the effect all right since this can work very fast you can do a free cat style mesh gen again okay and okay we take a look look at the look at the closest cells to the wall what you'll notice is that um, they are now getting more and more uh, thin as compared to the layers outside we can actually um, make it even more obvious okay by may maybe making the expansion ratio 1.8 and then we'll just do a free cat mesh gen and we'll take a look okay and uh, just do an f5 oops okay so now now you see there's there are no there are no uh, what do you call that no features added i mean no no layers added because you probably make the made it a little bit too hard for snappy hex mesh to cope with uh, these settings so let's give it a little more okay maybe we'll put it at 1.5 and that's it let's see the free cat style mesh gen okay again too much hmm let's use 1.3 then all right so i think here should be okay now look at look at this when you when you have it at 1.3 times you see that the inner layers become thinner and you know the the final layer the final layer kind of doesn't change right the final layer doesn't change because we kind of set um, a fixed final layer thickness all right so thick uh, final layer thickness here is uh, set at 0 0.3 so i hope uh basically you know what this expansion ratio is basically the thinner layer the thinnest layer in there uh, will be uh, 1.3 times thinner than i mean okay uh, the inner layer this this layer over here oopsie uh, let's see let's zoom in okay here so this layer over here is your first layer the next layer will be 1.3 times thicker than the previous layer this next layer will be again 1.3 times thicker than this layer here so look at the final layer and the first layer they are not 1.3 times apart they are almost you know, twice or thrice as thick okay so how how does this work uh, if you actually specify the final layer thickness okay the final layer thickness here is 0 0.3 what does this 0 0.3 mean it means that this final layer thickness is 0 0.3 times as thick as you know the cell over here you see in the middle the cell is pretty thick pretty big so this layer here will be 0 0.3 times of this cell so if we change it to maybe 0 0.8 you will see a very stark difference okay so i'll change this final layer thickness here to 0 0.8 and let's see okay Uh, let's do I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this uh, script again so what's inside the script uh, what's inside the script is just uh, doing a block mesh or oh, we do it all clean first restore zero directory block mesh snappy x mesh override then transform points by a scale of 100 okay no I probably don't want a scale of 100 anymore I kind of want a scale of uh, Let's see how big this thing is. Uh, where's the axis? Show axis, okay. It's a 0 0.01 meters. I guess that can work. Okay, I'll let that work. That's fine. Um, 0 0.01 meters. Oh, 0 0.1 meters okay this is like 10 cm still 10 cm across that's a bit too wide okay okay before i do anything let me change uh, i'll change the scale later maybe let's focus on the the add layers bit all right so um 
let's do the uh yeah basically what i'm doing is that all clean restore zero direct zero, uh, excuse me restore zero directory block mesh snappy x mesh override then uh, do a transform point scale then we do a touch okay so that's the basic workflow so i'm going to run it again free cat style mesh gen you see it's very fast the f5 and you take a look at the final layer thickness now it is much thicker than before i think maybe is it thicker than before hmm. yeah let's see let's see uh snappy hex smash again okay maybe that's the uh... okay Let, let's see whether we can change it around maybe to 0 0.5 okay 0 0.5 into the free cat style mesh gen again and press f5 here all right so you see when we change the final layer thickness entry from 0 0.8 to 0 0.5 we see that the the final layer actually kind of shrinks a little bit and we see that uh, okay uh, we know that expansion ratio and final layer thickness is one way to control it one way to control this layer addition um, and it seems to work okay seems to work here all right uh, so vi system snappy x mesh dictionary we can just play around with these numbers uh, how many layers you want to add what's your expansion ratio what's your final layer thickness if you're not sure what to do, you can always look at uh, the Snappy Hex Mesh guide in openform.org or openform.com. Um, basically, they tell you you should only specify two out of these four uh, conditions. Okay, what conditions? So, uh, there are multiple ways you can actually control this uh, layer addition. You can talk about using um, four different layer thickness parameters one is using an expansion ratio which is what you just saw and the final layer thickness you can also define the first layer thickness okay or you can define the thickness in general what's this thickness i think this is the thickness of the boundary layer okay i think that's the thickness of the boundary layer if i'm not wrong okay but uh, in general you can only specify two Two of these, uh, two of these, uh, what do you call that? Um, two of these uh, entries. So you can define the first layer thickness and the final layer thickness, and then I guess they will you know evenly distribute, uh, distribute, uh, oops, distribute the the uh, thickness growth across the rest of the layers. But roughly, this is how it works. Um, okay, so I'll just leave it be this is all we have for layer addition it's pretty simple once we once we uh, sort out the object files and everything um, we can see that we add walls very nicely and that's that's basically all there is to add, adding layers so you can play around with this file on git do do as uh, as what you need to learn and thanks for watching i guess that's all for this video i'll see you guys next time bye bye